I was pretty close. It was like five and then seven and then 10. Uh, it worked out great. I was a little wrong earlier though. They only worked together about six hours before the last time I said some words. Um, and it's a really impressive thing. In fact, one of the most impressive things is there's about 120 people holding different instruments with different backgrounds and they're coming from different uh, you know, parts of Chicagoland. And in that short amount of time, um, Professor Kaminsky was able to get them to agree. And that's a really remarkable thing. And it's, uh, it's something really special. You should have heard them, their first notes, all just kind of coming in with their own approach. And we, we found a, a common ground and it's been really, really a lot of fun to listen to them work through this literature today. Uh, without further ado, I want to uh, introduce Professor Alex Kaminsky from Vanderbilt College of Music and the South Suburban Conference Concert Band. Thank you so much.
Thank you. And uh, thank you for coming out uh, tonight. It's a little chilly outside, so it's nice to be inside warm and just enjoying some music. Uh, I am director of bands at Vanderbilt College of Music, uh, and we are strictly a music education college, the, the only one in the country. And um, so I get to do a lot of these. And um, it's been uh, fun. The, the one thing that struck me about these students first is they're just great kids. They were, but when we were seat, like getting seated on the on the stage, they were really quiet and attentive. And it's the reason they were able to make so much progress and was probably the shortest rehearsal time that I've ever had with the one day honor band. Literally, we met and started rehearsing. We actually started rehearsal at noon. Like we did like some half hour announcements, whatever. So we had 90 minutes this morning, never seen each other before. And then lunch and then rehearse from 2.30 to 4.30. And now we're doing a concert with four pieces. So usually in your own band program, you take like two months to do four pieces. And we did it like, we're doing it like in three and a half hours. And that just is a testament, not only to um, the students, but to the teaching that they're getting from their home band program. So I'll talk more about that later. That first piece of uh, reverberations is based on two notes. You heard them at the beginning and the end, and it's just sort of a driving piece. I actually had the students, of the four pieces, I said, let's decide on what order we want to do this concert, because uh, it kind of, we can do whatever we want, you know, pretty much. And so we open with that. Um, the next piece is a beautiful setting of a Scottish uh, folk song called Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond is actually a lake. And this setting is by Gerard Hall, who is an up and coming young uh, composer. And, um, and I, I honestly think this is the most beautiful setting of this uh, particular piece. It takes a lot of sensitivity and maturity. And um, I think you're gonna enjoy hearing the sounds that they're about to make on this piece. So this is uh, Gerard Hall's Loch Lomond.
and it sounded just like that at 12 o'clock today. No, actually, the fact that they're able to make that kind of music in a matter of hours, because it didn't sound like that, but they were, they were so receptive to everything and really trying to work together as a team um, that honestly, I find it remarkable that they are sounding that beautiful on this. And it's a great experience. I told them the two uh, objectives for today were that we would all have a great musical experience. And number two, that they would take some things back to their own bands to make their bands better. Uh, because a lot of these students are the leaders in their band programs. And one thing that we need is music making. It's a positive thing in this world, and these kids are positive folks that are contributing something very positive. Uh, the next piece, you have to have a march in a concert, in a concert band concert. So this is a, a march by Henry Fillmore. He was a composition teacher at the University of Miami many years ago. And there's a saying that Henry Fillmore never wrote anything but happy marches. And so I think this is one of the North-South College All-Stars. It's actually listed fourth, but we changed the order because they told me to. So we're gonna do um, the march, and it features uh, a little bit of uh, trombone playing, because Henry Fillmore was a, was a trombonist. And uh, we think you'll enjoy this, the North-South College All-Stars. students. Uh, I actually just got back from conducting the Florida All-State Band literally two days ago. I had a day off, came here and, uh, to do this. And, um, you know, band kids are band kids. They're just great kids. And um, we need more of them. And so hopefully as we continue on, uh, we'll get more and more students involved in, in our band programs. But um, this is just a blessing to me, an encouragement uh, to be able to work with, with students. And I've actually been in some of their band rooms and hopefully we'll be in, uh, in more and more uh, just to help my colleagues out. And I do want to thank the directors of the South Suburban Conference for inviting me. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to be able to work uh, with, with the students. Uh, I'm not too far away, so it wasn't too much of a drive. You know, Vanderbilt was just 30 minutes in one direction. I actually live in Lockport, which is 30 minutes the other direction. And so uh, it was worth uh, every bit of that drive, as short as it was, but it was great. And so um, we're gonna close with 
a piece by Francis Macbeth. And Francis Macbeth is a prolific band composer uh, that wrote really starting in the 60s. And this piece is entitled Canto. It uses some clapping and, and some effects. You're gonna hear some lush harmonies that Francis Macbeth was uh, known for writing. So, uh, you know, they made some lush sounds in that Loch Lomond. And you're gonna hear some lush sounds um, in the middle of this piece as well, uh, which is great. I always say the most important thing is your sound, your tone, because that's the medium by which we musicians communicate, is our, the quality of sound. And so we, we spent a lot of time on, uh, on that. And uh, again, thank you for, for coming out uh, and just continue to support your kids as they make music.
So any announcements or is, is everybody free to go now or? <laughs> All right, thank you again for coming and uh, keep supporting your kids.